Hello, everyone. I'm Hailong from OPPO. Uh, I'm happy to share a topic, product practice or large folio on millions of OPPO Android phones. Before the mainline introduced the MQGP, OPPO has already implemented 64 large folio. They primarily use large folio during page faults. In the page fault handler, large folios are used at first. If that fails, use small folio instead. Mm, the battery allocator become fragmented after the system has been running for a while and may not able to, able to allocate a large folio. To address this, we implement a large folio pool. This pool reserves original memory after the system boot and splits into multiple large folios and then add, add them to, to a list. An interface is provided to allocate a large folio from this pool. The allocated large folios in a page fault handler would be added to LRU list. However, if we use one LRU list, when trying to allocate a type of folio, the tail of the list could be packed with other type of folio, which would block the allocation. To prevent this, we place large folio in a separate list, the do list. We, all, we also use do the run, one for small folio and the other for large folio. There are two reasons for this. One small folio can cause swap slots fragmentation, while large folio require contiguous swap slots. The second reason is that we configure different compression algorithms for different ZRAMs, as shown in the figure. Using this standard on large folios, provides better compression ratio and faster compression and deep compression speeds than small folios. In certain cases, we allow drivers to use large folio. For example, when many apps are running in the background and the launch a camera app, which requires a large amount of memory. In this case, Background apps may be killed by low memory killer. And the large folio could be released back into the large folio pool. However, in this case, camera needs lots of DM buffer. Therefore, to make better use of a large folio pool, we allow the driver of the system hip to use large, large folio. As expected, Using large folios significantly reduces TLB misses and page faults, resulting in performance improvements across many cases. In benchmark type case, RAM bench improved by 30%, Android bench by 16%, and Antudo scouts increased by 22,000 points. In user case, Apple time improved by 10%. And frame drops were reduced by 35%. They introduced large folio in OKI and added thousands of lines of code to the source, which made it harder for us to maintain. As a result, we worked with experts from Google and Linux community. For now, some of the code has been refactored and merged by upstream. For example, Ryan introduced MTHP to, rep to replace large folio, while David Barry and Chuan Hua support MTHP in other parts of page fault handler. Other par parts have been merged into Android common kernel. Here, I would like to special thank to Yu, who introduced the, the TAO virtual zone and implemented the MGLRU person list to replace large, large folio pool and dual LRU. Additionally, thanks to Chris, who implemented the slap allocator to solve slap fragmentation. And here, we would also thank to Suren and Clash 
who worked hard to backport all of this work into the GKI. There were more than 200 patches involved. Okay, the, the final part is the QA and discussion. This part will barely will lead it. Thanks. Hi, Barry. Hey, hey, hello, hello. hello. I think, I think I'll, I'll take, take a presenter. A I'll take a presenter. Yeah, it's like a, I don't have introduced the, what we have done in uh, OKI Kello and the, what we have done in Linux community, work together with Ryan and uh, work together with uh, like uh, Chris and the user from Google and we try to match as many as match patch into GKI to reduce the maintenance FS from us. And uh, right now we are still profiling the uh, MTHP performance in GKI Kello and, uh, and uh, some patches are still ongoing in GKI uh, Gary system for testing. And uh, except uh, those jobs in Linux Kello actually, uh, actually in when we support OKI, when we supported a uh, large folio on, on our OKI Kello, we have actually modified a lot in user space. For example, uh, we have modified the uh, JMalloc. JMalloc is the uh, native libc, uh, which which helps allocate allocate native native heap, and there is the in JMalloc, a lot of like the device don't lead or device free and not aligned with large folio size. So the original JMalloc we are called a lot of splitting. Of large folio, why Linux Kello should indeed coexist with the aligned memory management source code from user space. That if user space can be aware of MTSP size, it should it should be much better. Because, for example, if JML and Java heap like Arch can manage Folios can be aware the MTHP size and then do otherwise don't need or otherwise free based on MTHP size. That means we are not going to split MTHP in Kello, but right now actually we are seeing tons of splitting in Linux Kello just to use the default. JMalloc or uh, Java heap. So luckily we could work together with the user space guys to like, optimize like Scudo or JMalloc or Art to make user space source code aware the existence of MTHP. Right now, actually they don't. And then, the other thing we might want to work is actually right now we we only support a lot mass not folio. So that means in the system we small folios and large folios coexist with each other. Sometimes it can cause another problem is we have two kinds of small folios. Uh, we, we have two kinds of folios. And the size, their sizes are different. So sometimes uh, it makes like memory reclamation quite complex. So if we can, for example, support that folio in F2 FS and the YAO FS, then almost the most folios in the system 
will be large. Then since maybe they are not so complex, for example, maybe in right now we have to uh, use like virtual zone and the pair zone IRU list. And then we still, actually we still doing a lot of like adjustment to make a pair zone MG IRU work, 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 work well. In the case we have large folio and small folios coexisting in the same system. And we are still seeing some memory reclaiming issues. Sometimes, for example, we we can say like a file large fo la file folios are seriously dramatically yeah reclaimed, and uh, we we can say yeah a lot of file reports uh, using the current source code. So we are still yeah try to fix the this issue uh, yeah so basically i i'm, I'm yeah, yeah i'm, I'm seeing, seeing yeah. yeah ryan i was i was just going to make the comment you, you were talking about uh file back large folios um i mean I've, I've said it in the past that i think once we get file system support for large folios in, in android it will improve uh, it, it will decrease the the, um, the fragmentation we see, and it will pr improve uh, our chances of allocating large folios. I think, though, having discussed it with more people, I've I've heard figures quoted that somewhere between eighty and ninety percent of memory used in Android tends to be anonymous, which suggests that potentially it may not help as much as we think it does. Um, so it's just just a just a statement there. Um, and then further, but uh, but I do think that it will help us a lot um, with ITLB pressure. So if we can start mapping much more code using 64K folios and even two meg folios where it makes sense, if we can do it intelligently, there are actually big, big benefits to performance through reduction of ITLB pressure. Yeah. Yeah, actually, that a lot of major problem is actually F2 FS doesn't support large folio. Actually, Gaoshan has already enabled large folio support in ERFS, but uh, we haven't tested it yet. So since F2 FS doesn't support uh, large folio in the ERFS, it's not the mail file system, it's just the, the system partition and the most of file File back the folios are actually from F2FS, so I don't think ERFS can change things a lot. Yeah. Sorry, the, 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 this, this is Matthew Boggs. Yeah, I, th I think I think you should try some experiments with other file systems that do support large folios. But if what Brian is saying is true, and eighty to ninety percent of the memory in an Android phone is anonymous, then having small folios in the page cache isn't going to make much difference. Like the problem here is going to be what why are we allocating small folios for anonymous memory at all is the question. Uh so basically uh we yeah with like a user's virtual drone actually we have improved uh, like the success rate of large folio allocation a lot but uh, we still seeing a lot of case we fail to allocate large folio so in this case we have to fall back to small folio and the uh, and the uh, uh yeah like the problem is here it, we can't like using results pad set we can define we can configure it configure it a uh, virtual zone for large folio but we can't set it too large because in many case like we need a uh, file system, file back the folios. If we like configure it, uh, the virtual zone the uh, too large, then the file back the folio might neck memory. So so yeah, so that's a problem. So we can yeah in our uh, right now we we set the percent we set thirty percent thirty percent of memory as virtual zone, 
and then we still we still saying like uh, around the, yeah forty percent uh forty percent of failure or large failure allocation. But we can't increase the virtual zone because otherwise we will neck memory for memory for fireback. I wonder if the problem is that we're using the wrong GFP flags because for large folio allocation, I initially just copied what we were using for transhuge light, um, which is, you know, if, if we have it right now, then return it. If we're falling back too readily, then we're going to see a lot more small folios in the system, so it is going to increase fragmentation. I wonder if we need to use, um, you know, not, not, if, if we need to actually try to do a little bit of reclaim, it, even when we're allocating, you know, order two. So just to follow up on that, I, I, I think for anonymous MTHP, the, 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 the SysFS exposes knobs to control how aggressively you want to allocate. I imagine they're by default, I think they're by default set to only get them if they're available. So maybe that's an experiment we could try to see whether that helps the situation. Have, have you looked at any of that stuff, Barry? Actually, Actually for the first question, I, I, I didn't get a second question. For the first question, like uh, if we have tried to like set direct reclaim for large folio allocation, actually we didn't. Uh, for, the, for, for the second question, I actually I didn't get it. So can you repeat? Uh, sorry, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I, I will answer the question maybe from Willie or someone. I, I can't see uh, your face. Like, uh, if we have uh, tried to like uh, enable direct reclaim or some, yeah, memory reclamation for large folio allocation. Actually, we just uh, use the default configuration, like, uh, like the light, yeah, transparent light. Yeah, that's what we are using right now. But, uh, yeah, I agree. Maybe we can try to enable direct reclaim for large folio allocation. You should reach out to the Bionic team. Uh, you should definitely try using Scudo. Um, and maybe redoing some of these modifications around Scudo. Um, I think otherwise there's a lot of testing that uh, you're probably missing out on, uh, especially for uh, art system play updates and other updates that come over project mainline. Um, but yeah, you should reach out to the Android memory, uh, sorry, to the Android native team. Um, I think they have a public mailing list. Yeah, yeah, like uh, for Scudo, actually we, we have compared the uh, JMalloc with, with Scudo and uh, basically we find the JMalloc perform better than, than Scudo. And uh, yeah, basically Scudo uh, is uh, using uh, more memory than JMalloc. So we we, can, if we haven't yeah, dug into the Detailed reason that the uh, right now, since we are seeing JMalloc performed better than Scudo, so we are still using JMalloc. Uh, real time. Okay. Any any other questions? Either for you, Brad, Barry, or the upper team, or anyone here?
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.